Hi, my name is Paul Mayer. I'm a product manager on the Net Backup product. Uh, today's organization commonly backs up their production data by sending a copy to a Net Backup server where it's stored on disk and then making another copy on tape for long-term retention. Organizations today are looking at alternatives to this that would include sending that backup data to a cloud environment. So now if you've got a data center environment here and an AWS environment here, the first challenge that the organizations will face is, how do I get this large data set up into the cloud to baseline for my first backup? Because bandwidth to do that on an ongoing basis is going to be too expensive and it's going to take too long. To address this challenge, AWS has introduced a product or service called Snowball. This is a transfer device that allows us to get that first large set of data up into the cloud environment efficiently, where we can then carry on operations moving forward. The way that you use that with Net Backup is first deploy the Snowball in the network environment, configure Net Backup so that it recognizes Snowball as a valid backup target, and from there, you're going to reconfigure your backup so you're not dumping out to tape, but instead, you're sending that first backup to Snowball. Snowball is then loaded onto a truck, sent to the Amazon data center, where the data is now imported from Snowball into an S3 bucket. At that point, you're going to reconfigure net backup so that the data stream for incremental data moving forward is sent in a deduped format to that S3 bucket. At that point, you've got a full set of data available for recovery, and you've got a couple options. One is you can do a traditional restore back to the data center along that same data path, restoring the data through net backup, back up to a production host, or to an alternate client if you choose for test dev or research purposes. But more interestingly, at that point, once we have the data uh, resident in the cloud, we have the option of instantiating a net backup server in that cloud environment, restoring the data, the same copy that was backed up from net backup to the cloud, we can restore that copy into an EC2 instance running inside of Amazon. All of these resources can be deployed at the time of restore so you're saving money on an ongoing basis. This gives you a DR on-demand capability that's a very compelling value proposition, and it's all made possible by the Snowball device that was introduced by Amazon and the integration work that was done within the NetBackup product.